Just having those blocks close to your mat. And we're going to start in Shavasana. So lying down. And your legs are mat distance apart. Your arms are away from your body, palms facing up, shoulders away from your ears, and neck nice and long and relaxed. Just taking some deep breaths in and long breaths out. Letting your whole body sink down into the support beneath you. In this moment, there's nothing you need to be doing. We're just settling in. Maybe just taking a moment to appreciate the fact that you're here practicing today, that you've made this positive choice for yourself. It would have just been easier to not practice, but here you are putting in the effort. So take a moment to just appreciate that. And let this be a beautiful start to your year. Let's start by just rolling the head slowly from side to side. We're going to take things nice and easy, gentle this morning. Just a little refresh for the body. And then bring your head back to center. Roll your wrists and ankles around in big circles. Good. And then bending the knees, taking the knees or taking the feet rather, mat distance apart, and just dropping the knees slowly from side to side. And bringing the knees back to center, hugging the knees towards the chest, and drawing circles with the knees, massaging the back. And other direction, circling around. Good. And then hugging the knees in tight, give a good squeeze. And slowly bringing yourself up to sitting. And welcome to this nice, easy practice to start off the new year. So we're going to grab our blocks, and let's sit up on these blocks while we do some movements to just treat our bodies to a little bit of love. We're going to do some self-massage to start out. And that will help to warm up our bodies, get the circulation going. Perfect. All right, so just sitting up, let the knees fall forward and just sitting up on those blocks. And we're going to start uh, with just the hands on the back of the neck. You're going to start right at the top near the base of the skull, and we're just going to massage out. So in outward strokes, it's hard for me to do with this mic on, but you're just going to massage out in long strokes from 
the base of your spine out and down the neck. And then when you get to the shoulders, give yourself a little squeeze. And try to keep your shoulders relaxed as you do this. Keep the elbows low. And let's do that again. So starting up at the top, massaging down the neck. And then squeezing those trapezius muscles. Good. And taking the hands across the body, squeezing the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And squeezing all the way down the arms. Noticing if there's any areas of tension, you'll feel it when you're squeezing. All the way down to the wrists. Good. And then rubbing the palms together nice and fast. Create some heat in the palms. Good. And we're going to take those hands oh, and cup them over the eye sockets. Relax your shoulders. And take some deep breaths here. Noticing that darkness. Maybe noticing the warmth from your hands. Let that soothe the eyes. Slowly release, taking your hands onto your lower back. And we're going to just massage either up and down or in circles, whatever feels good to you, but just massaging the lower back. Good. And then let's extend the legs. And we're going to take the hands onto the tops of the thighs. We're going to hinge from the hip joints and we're going to massage tops and then bottoms. Tops and bottoms of the legs. Just nice, fast movements, almost like we're rowing forward and back. Get the circulation into the legs. And then release, and you can either recross or just bend the knees, taking the hand to the fingers and then rubbing up and down on the arm, <sighs> creating some heat, warmth, and also just that positive sensation of physical touch. You can switch arms. Good. And then just sitting up nice and still. Taking a few deep breaths. Relax your body and just noticing any changes in the body, noticing how that feels. And we're going to start to roll the shoulders forward. Nice big circles. And rolling the shoulders back in big circles. Good. And release. Good. Taking your right hand, push it away from you, and then tilt your head over to the left and feel that stretch all the way down the neck and shoulder, maybe even into the arm. Flex your wrist, pull your fingertips in, get a little stretch through the wrist as well. Deep breaths in and long breaths out. Exhale any tension that might be there. And then keeping the arm where it is, slowly just rotate your nose towards your left shoulder. Notice how that changes where you're feeling the stretch in the neck. And then slowly rotating the nose 
up towards the ceiling. Keep the head tilted to the left. And again, noticing where that changes the stretch, feeling through the front of the neck now. And slowly bring the head back to center. Let's do the other side, pushing the arm away from you, flexing the wrist, pulling the fingers back, tilting the head over to the right. Create as much length across that left side as you can. Dropping your shoulder way down away from your ear. And then slowly rotating your nose down towards your shoulder. And if there's any, I just felt like a really sharp kind of like, ee, that part's really tight. So if you feel that, you can kind of just slowly work through or hold those areas that feel particularly tight. Give some time for those to release and then continue on when you're ready. If you start to, you some of these can be, um, you might feel tension shooting up into the head. These are helpful for uh, reducing headaches or helping if you do already have a headache. And then slowly, when you're ready, rotating the nose towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch through the front and side of the neck. Beautiful, and slowly. Bring the ear back to the shoulder and bring the head back to center. How does that feel? <laughs> okay, let's continue on. We'll continue with more of this kind of upper body stuff. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, digestive stuff as well because you know how the holidays are. So <laughs> that will be helpful. So we're going to start with a block um, up at the front of your mat. I'm just going to make this the front of my mat. Uh, and that's just going to be really close by so that you can grab it easily. And we're going to lie down on the abdomen. And you might even take that block, bring it up onto your mat. And we're going to extend the right arm over to the left corner of your mat and then cross the other arm over. Now, depending on how this is, if you're close to the ground, that block on the low height will be okay. If you need it a little higher, you might uh, need to have that block on the um, medium height or even the tall height. Probably not the tall height, but maybe. Just see everybody's body is different, so whatever you're needing, but that's where your head is going to rest. So adjusting that block and then just walking the fingertips away from each other until you start to feel a stretch in the shoulders and then just let go. Let the body become heavy. Let it fall towards the ground. Let gravity do the work of holding you there in place. And we're just going to let... We're just going to let the body rest while we get this passive stretch in through the shoulders. You might even feel this around the back as well. Deep breaths in and long breaths out. Good.
And taking one more deep breath in here. And exhale, release. Good. Slowly roll yourself over to your right side and uncurl your arms. Push the block out of the way. Turn your head over to the left and extend your arms out to the sides. If that's not comfortable, you're welcome to take the hands under the head for support. But we really want to just relax those shoulders, allow the chest to open. And then slowly lifting your head, bring that block in close again at whatever height you used last time. And we're going to do the opposite arms now. So if you did the right arm first last time, you're going to do the left arm over to the right side of the mat. And then the right arm comes on top. Pull that block in until it's in a good place to support your forehead and... Then settling in, let the body become heavy. Enjoying this passive stretch through the shoulders. By the end of this class, I really want us to feel like we've done a really good stretch to get rid of all those little areas of tension that might be there, that might be holding us back, that might be causing dullness or pain. So we can really make a fresh start today with a body that also feels refreshed. So as we're going through this, just keeping that in mind that we really want to let go into these movements, these stretches, and use the breath. Each time you exhale, think about letting go of a little more tension. You might think of it as letting go to gravity. You might think of it as a softening in the body. or letting go of holding. And one more deep breath in here. And a long breath out. Slowly roll yourself over to the left so that you can untangle the arms. Push the block away. Stretch the arms wide or take the hands under the shoulders and turn your head to the right this time.
And then bringing your head back to center, take your left hand under your forehead, reach back with your right hand for your right foot or a pant leg or whatever you can grab onto so that we can get a little stretch through the front of that right thigh. You're gonna push your right hip down into the mat and even if you can't grab on, you can still push that right hip down into the mat, pull your heel towards your bum and you should start feeling a stretch through the front of that right thigh. Nice deep breaths here, releasing tension from the front of the right thigh. One more deep breath in and exhale, release. Good, bring the right hand under the forehead, reach back with the left hand. Even if you can't grab a hold, still reach with that arm. Create some strengthening in the back of the body. Push the left hip down towards the mat, heel towards the bum. Exhaling any tension that comes up. Good, one more deep breath in here. And exhale, release slowly. And bringing your hands under your shoulders, push up onto hands and knees. Let's round the back up towards the sky. Nice deep breaths here. And let's do the opposite, dropping the belly button, lifting the chest, lifting the tailbone, and especially widening across the collarbones. Belly button is in towards the spine. Abdominal muscles are nice and strong. One more deep breath in here. And exhale, rounding the back again and sitting back. We're gonna lie back on our backs. All right, so we're gonna start by raising the right leg up and keeping the left knee bent. So foot is on the, left foot is on the floor. Grabbing onto the back of the right thigh, or if you're more flexible, you can grab onto the back of the calf. And just holding that there. Feeling the stretch through the back of the leg. Try to keep the knee, the back of the knee pressing out. You don't need to lock the knee joint, but just have it more or less straight. Good. And then from here, let's roll that ankle around in nice big circles. Feel that stretch through the foot, the ankle, the leg, the toes. Go nice and slowly, feeling that stretch in all the areas there. Rotate through the other direction. Circling, big, big circles with the foot. Good, and now stilling the foot, extend your left leg if you like and press the back of the left thigh down towards the mat, stretching out that left hip joint. Keep a hold of the right leg, either the thigh or the calf. Shoulders are relaxed. And then keeping a hold of that right leg with the right hand, extend your left arm out to the side, open up your right leg to the side, feeling the stretch in the inside of that right leg. Perfect, nice deep breaths here.
And inhale that leg back up to center. Bend the right knee, hug the right thigh in towards your chest, give it a good squeeze. And slowly release the right foot down to the mat, knee stays bent. Inhale the left leg up, we'll do all of that on the other side now. So grabbing onto the back of the left thigh or the left calf. If you're grabbing the calf, just make sure that your shoulders stay relaxed. If you bring your elbows out to the sides, it can be helpful. Very nice. And if you like, you can start rolling that ankle around, drawing big circles with the toes. Feeling that stretch in all the different areas of the foot, ankle, and leg. You might even feel a stretch all the way down to your bum. If you make really big circles when you've got the leg in close. And then circling around the other direction. Again, exhaling any tension that comes up. Let it come up and out. Use the breath to get it out. Good. And then stilling the foot, extending your right leg if you like, pressing the back of the right thigh down towards the mat. Taking deep breaths in and long breaths out. And then keeping hold of the left leg with the left hand, open the right arm out to the side and open the left leg out to the left, stretching the inside of the left leg, opening up that hip. Continue taking deep breaths in and long breaths out. Being kind to your body, we're not forcing anything. We're just allowing that really delicious ease of tension to happen. And inhale, bringing the leg back to center. Bend the left knee, give your left leg a good squeeze into your chest. And exhale, slowly release. Bringing the feet out to the sides, mat distance apart, arms away from your body, palms facing up, shoulders away from your ears. Just take a moment to take stock, noticing any changes in the body from when we began. Hopefully we're starting to feel a bit more ease, a bit more of a good feeling energy in the body, less of a dullness. And we're gonna keep going with that. Good. So now just bringing your left leg over and cross it over your right leg. So your right leg is going to stay at the bottom right corner of your mat and your left leg is just going to come over, cross over top of it. Take both of your hands over to the top right corner of your mat, grab onto your left wrist and pull your body over to the right side of your, of your mat. Feeling this nice stretch through the whole left side of the body. We're making this crescent moon shape with the body. Nice deep breaths in 
Long breaths out if you want to increase the stretch through the left side. Pull on the left wrist to stretch in through the shoulders and ribs or push and or push out with the left heel to get more stretching through the lower part of the body. Good. Holding that there, taking nice deep breaths, drawing that crescent moon shape for the side of the body. I'm just going to adjust it here, so lie back. Take this foot over here. Cross this, just ankles. Yes. There you go. And you need to do you want the double? I can give you that double mat if you want. Yeah. So do you feel the stretch to the side? Yeah, perfect. And taking one more deep breath in here, lengthen even more, and exhale, release. Good. Taking the feet over to the bottom left corner of the mat, cross the right leg over the left, just the ankles, and then grabbing onto the left wrist and pulling over to the left side, making this crescent shape and stretching the right side of the body. Remember, you can press out the right heel, pull the right wrist to create more length through the right side of the body. And as you do this, make sure that you don't hold the breath. Keep the breath deep. And you'll feel that that helps with the stretch here. Taking the breath from the abdomen up into the ribs. And then exhaling to release. Keep holding the pose. Keep that nice, deep, steady breath. One more deep breath in here, lengthen even more, and exhale, release. Coming back to the center of the mat, reach the arms overhead, feet together, stretching out, reaching out with your feet, reaching out with your fingers, stretching the whole body long. And let's just hold that here for a breath. Good. One more deep breath in, lengthen even more, and exhale, release. Just let the body completely relax. Bending the knees again. You can keep your arms up overhead if you like, or take them out to the sides, up to you. Raise your right leg up and cross the outside edge of your right foot to your left thigh, so just above the knee on the left thigh. You're going to gr grab onto the back of your left thigh and pull it towards you. Let your left heel fall towards your bum. Taking some nice deep breaths here. Perfect. And one more deep breath in, squeeze the left leg even tighter, and exhale to release. Uncross the legs, we're going to do the other side. Left leg goes up to the ceiling, crossing the outside edge of the left foot to the right thigh. Reach for the back of the right thigh, pull it in towards your chest. Let the right heel fall towards your bum. And taking nice deep breaths in and long breaths out.
And one more deep breath and squeeze the leg in close and slowly release, uncross the leg. Good. And now we're going to take arms out wide to the sides. Bring the feet mat distance apart. And we're going to slowly drop the knees over to the left side. And just let gravity take those legs down. And just like we pushed our right hip down when we were stretching the front of the right thigh, push your right hip out in space and maybe you can do that stretch in through the front of that right thigh again. I'm taking a deep breath in here. Exhale to release and we're going to switch to the other side. Knees go over to the right, maybe pressing that left hip forward in space. And then slowly bring the knees back to center. Good. Now we're going to bring both feet over to the right side of the mat. Hips slide over to the right side of the mat. Cross your right leg over your left. So you're going to cross at the knees, or you can cross at the, at the ankle. Whatever you can cross is fine. And you're going to drop the knees over to the left. And turn your head, if you like, towards the right. I'm taking some nice deep breaths here, feeling that twist in the back. Nice. And then bringing your knees slowly back to center and the hips to center and uncross your legs. Good. So everything is centered right now and we're going to take the feet over to the left side of the mat. Hips go over to the left side of the mat. Cross the left foot or left leg over the right leg and then slowly drop the knees to the right, and if you like, looking left, as long as that feels good for the neck. Again, we're surrendering to gravity here, gravity here, letting the legs fall towards the right side. Deep breaths in and long breaths out. Now slowly bringing the knees back to center. Bring the hips back to center. 
Uncross the legs. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Little rock from side to side. You kind of push the knees from side to side. Let the arms do the work with the back and the abdomen. Relax a little bit here. Good. And then bringing ourselves up to sitting. If you like, you can do a little rocking forward and back, massaging the back that way. And when you're ready, bring yourself all the way up and over. We're going to come onto hands and knees. And we're going to take the right arm underneath the left. Reach the fingertips out as far as they go. Drop your shoulder towards the mat. Drop your head towards the mat. And extend your left arm up overhead. You got it. Yes. Yes. Perfect. And we're going to think about rotating the left ribs towards the ceiling. If it's comfortable, you can even look towards the ceiling. These are all extras. We don't have to do that. We're just really thinking about getting that twist in through the more of the upper back. We just did the lower back, and now we want to get a little bit more of that twist in through the upper back as well. Beautiful. Nice deep breaths here. One more deep breath in and exhale slowly. Bring your left hand back under your shoulder. Use the strength of your hand to push you back up. And coming onto hands and knees again, we're going to do the other side. Taking the left arm, slide it under the right as far as it goes. Really reach out and then drop your shoulder down. And extend your right arm up towards the top of your mat. If you like, turn your head towards the sky. In any case, we're thinking about rotating the right ribs toward the ceiling, toward the sky. And one more deep breath in here. And exhale, release, slide the right hand back until it's under your shoulder. Push the floor away to slowly rise back up. And let's just round the back up towards the sky and maybe circling around. So just drawing circles with the whole body, feeling stretch in different areas of the back, creating a little bit of fluid movement after those static stretches. Good, and then slowly coming back up to sitting. All right, we're gonna come onto our abdomens now. Do a little bit of that digestive work. So we're gonna start by taking the hands under the forehead. Inhale to lift the hand, the, the arms, lift the chest up, holding here, taking nice deep breaths. You don't have to come up high in this one, just any amount up is fine. 
you'll start to feel a little bit of pressure on the abdomen and that's exactly what we want. We want to get a nice massage for the abdominal organs, the digestive organs in the abdomen. As you inhale, you can feel your abdomen pressing against the mat, giving that good massage there. You're also obviously strengthening the back. You can probably feel that as well. One more deep breath in here. Lift up and exhale, release. Turn your head to one side, toes together, heels apart. Relax your shoulders and relax your back. And we can still continue to feel that massage on the abdominal organs each time you inhale. This is a really nice position to take any time that you're feeling any abdominal or digestive discomfort. It can seem quite soothing. And bringing your hands under your shoulders, push up onto hands and knees again, and we're going to come into a seated position. Let's grab the block. You can take it behind you. Legs are stretched straight ahead of you, and we're going to cross the left leg over the right. Hug the left leg. Take your right hand behind you, and now this is where you can use the block if you like. If you want, you can grab onto that block, and it kind of creates a bit of stickiness on the mat and just to help pull you around. But the main emphasis here, we're going to get a twist in the back, but the main emphasis is really pulling that thigh hugging it in towards the chest. We're going to move things through the intestines. This is another really good pose for digestion. So you're just focusing on taking nice deep breaths in, long breaths out. You don't have to use that block. If you prefer to just have your hand on the mat, that's fine too. Making sure to keep the shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. Don't let them shrug up toward the ears. Keep them down and relaxed. And one more deep breath in here. And exhale, slowly release, and we're going to switch to the other side. Crossing the right leg over the left, hug the right leg in towards the abdomen, and right hand goes behind. You're going to look up and over your right shoulder, feeling that good twist in the back and the pressure on the abdomen, moving things through the intestines. You got it. Perfect. One more deep breath in here. Give that leg a good squeeze and exhale. Slowly release. Perfect. Last stretch before we go into our final relaxation. We're going to take those blocks. Let's take them on the medium height. And we're going to make two 11s at the front of the mat. And we're going to take the elbows down in towards... Kind of, 
kind of want the forearms on the on the block. Don't put the elbow right cl at the very edge of the block, but it's closer toward you. You're going to walk the knees back, bring the palms together. Walk the knees back. Let the el let the elbows bend. Let the chest start to fall towards the mat. Opening up chest and shoulders here. If it's too intense for the shoulders, just walk the knees in closer and sit back more in a child's pose position. And again, we really want to use the breath here. Taking deep breaths in. And as you exhale, allow the heart center to fall towards the mat. Heart center is melting towards the earth. One more deep breath in and a long breath out. Slowly start to walk your knees forward. And setting the blocks aside, we're going to lie back on the mat for a final relaxation now. Bringing your feet mat distance apart, let the feet flop out to the sides. Arms out to the sides, palms are up, shoulders away from your ears, and neck is long and relaxed. You can close your eyes. And I'm just mentally scanning the body, noticing any changes, maybe from that last pose, or maybe overall changes in the body in comparison to how we felt at the beginning of our practice today. Noticing all of these changes which you have created for yourself. So again, thanking yourself for practicing today. And for giving your body this nice release of tension and this beautiful fresh start to your year. We'll do some tension and release, a final little bit of tension for the body and then a complete release. We're gonna pick up the right foot just a couple of inches off the mat, point your toes, flex your toes towards your face and then drop the foot. Just let it drop and flop. Left leg up, point. Flex and drop. Squeeze your bum tight. Lift the hips towards the sky and drop. Push your lower back down into your mat and release. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest to the sky and drop. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Tense them. Now slide your shoulders away from your ears as far as they go. Lift your hands one inch off the mat. Make fists really tight. Curl your wrists in. Open your palms wide. Spread your fingers. Press your wrists up towards the ceiling, palms facing the ceiling. And drop. Slowly roll your head to the right. And roll your head to the left. And bring your head back to center. Tense all of your face towards your nose. Make a tight, squished face. And release. Open your jaw wide. Stick out your tongue. Roll your eyes up and breathe out. <sighs> and 
and closing your eyes again. Making any final adjustments if you need to, to be comfortable. If you find that this is sensitive on your lower back at all, you can always take a bend in the knees, let the knees fall together, the feet further apart. And just let your whole body melt. All the effort is taken care of already. Right now there's nothing left to do. Start to mentally scan the body. And as I mentioned, each body part, consciously soften and relax that body part. Starting with the feet, the calves, the thighs, softening and relaxing, the hips, the whole back. hands and arms, abdomen and chest, shoulders, the neck and jaw, Eyes, forehead, and scalp. Entire body is completely relaxed. Taking this beautiful moment to let go of all effort, let go of all doing. And simply taking the time out to enjoy being. Just being. All the doing can be set aside. Taking a deep breath in, long breath out. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring your feet together, raise your arms up overhead, nice stretch from head to toe, and release. Slowly roll yourself to the side, press yourself up to sitting and come all the way up to standing. We're gonna finish with a quick little breathing exercise to just lift the energy to take you into the rest of your day. This is a three-part breathing. So it's inhale, arms forward, inhale, arms out, inhale, arms up, and exhale, release. Okay, so it's all through the nose. Keep the mouth closed and let's begin. Inhale, inhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. This is the breath of joy. Last one. 
Standing here, let's take our hands to the heart center. Standing tall. Taking a few relaxed breaths here. And just bringing to mind besides this one positive step forward you've already taken for yourself today, bringing to mind one other positive thought, feeling, or action that you'll choose to take forward with you today. One positive thought, action, or sensation. Taking one more deep breath in and exhale. Well, thank you very much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day and a beautiful start to your year. Happy New Year. You guys are glowing. I love it. <laughs> Yay. Great.